Hi everyone, welcome to our program of Inside Thái Nguyên. Do you know that in uh, Colorado University, the United States, there is a professor, and although being only 35 years old, but he is the owner of 10 invention certificates which were recognized by the U.S. government. He also received a series of honorable awards in international technology conferences in the field of healthcare. He is Professor Vũ Ngọc Tâm. Uh, in addition, Professor Tâm always tries his best to bring more and more Vietnamese excellent students to America and help them to reach the academic title of professor in the shortest time. And uh, in this program today, we will have a short talk with Professor Vũ Ngọc Tâm. Thanks for joining our program today. Mm -hmm. And uh, indeed, I'm very happy because I have read uh, many articles about uh, your remarkable achievements. But today, I, uh, I have a chance to talk with you. How long will you be in Vietnam? Thanks for having me. Uh, this, I'm um, going back to Vietnam for uh, three, a little bit more than three days only. What do you do during this short time? I came back mainly for visiting my family and uh, I have an uh, educational collaboration between uh, the University of Colorado and uh, Hanoi University of Science and Technology. Uh, so that's why I'm, I'm here at this time. Yes. Yeah. About your research work in mm -hmm. uh, America. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you uh, uh, come to this land and uh, start your career here? Well, uh, after I graduated from Hanoi University of uh, Science and Technology, um, I was doing uh, some research on what I should do next. And uh, one thing I one one thing uh, came to mind was uh, to try something different. And uh, uh, doing a PhD is one of them. And then I went to uh, the U.S. for my PhD and. Um, uh, to my surprise, I liked doing research so much that I decided to stay. And um, publishing in, um, in uh, mobile systems, wearable systems, and addressing real-world problems uh, have attracted me. So uh, that's why I decided to, to, to stay in research. And uh, after graduation, I went back, I went to uh, University of Colorado to be a professor there. Could you please to introduce some of your mm -hmm. more than 10 invention certificates? So we've been working on a very wide uh, variety of different projects ranging from security, so we have some project on uh, mobile security, meaning uh, protecting your mobile devices. Uh, we have a project on protecting airplane, uh, GPS and, and navigation systems. Uh, but a lot of our research these days are on healthcare, where we try to sense humans' uh, signatures, humans' uh, vital signals, including your um, your breathing signal, your brain, your eyes, your muscle signals. Uh, we also uh, develop new technologies for um, everyday sensing, uh, using mobile phone to monitor oxygen level, uh, to monitor lactose, glucose, uh, diabetes, uh, monitor um, uh, cholesterol, um, among many uh, other uh, factors sub and substance in, inside the human's body. Which invention is the difficult? that you most impressive and pay much attention? I love all of those in, in, um, inventions and uh, um, I don't have any personal preference, right? But uh, uh, the more recent ones are uh, actually quite timely, where, uh, for example, we have one uh, that is working on drone, that we can detect drone from afar using uh, access point. And um, that project is uh, currently funded by uh, Department of Homeland Security in the U.S. and we're planning to, to develop that further and also then we can uh, commercialize it. Um, we have another project that, that we are very excited about and we have a company on is uh, building a, a device inside the ear that we can monitor brain, eyes and muscle signal for uh, sleep quality monitoring and uh, that is more um, at a much more ready state and, and we are uh, planning to commercialize it. So hopefully uh, within a year from now I have something else and something better to share. Yes, mm -hmm. and I could be pleased to share about the effectiveness of um, your mm -hmm. invention certificate. Sure, so, um, so the technology when we came, uh, even when we started the technology, we, we tend to improve either on the cost or the effic uh, efficacy or security or usability or sometimes um, mm -hmm. Many of those, uh, we can accomplish many of those at the same time. Sometimes we only can optimize for one of those. Uh, for example, with an in-ear device, we, we address a cost problem. It's about 500 times less expensive compared to the current uh, on the market. 
and uh, for um, um, we eat also very comfortable, so it makes user happier. And uh, the accuracy is, is relatively high as well. So uh, that's an example of a new technology that can solve very important health problem that at a much, much lower cost and allows people to, to use it for a long time. So um, yeah, different projects have very different uh, um, yes. aspects that we try to optimize for. Yes. Mm -hmm. As I know that you have a lab named MNS mm -hmm. in your state, mm -hmm. which creates the most favorable conditions for students. Uh, what are the conditions to join in uh, the MNS lab? So that's two main two main um, you know, criteria that I ha that I look for when I when I uh, try to recruit students. One is the curiosity that they need to be very curious to know why things perform or happen or work in a certain way. And the second is the motivation, because those are the two key factors that I can't train. Uh, and uh, if, if they're good at that, then uh, if they have those already, then I will look at their, their, their educational background, how well uh, did they perform in their previous institution during your, their, their bachelor or their master, did they have any research experience um, and in any international or, nat uh, or national award. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then I will interview them and then I work with them for about a few months before I make a decision whether I should bring them uh, on board on the same team. Yeah. As I know that now you have some scholarship for yeah. students in Vietnam. So we have a lot of scholarship and I always have a problem of finding good students than finding funding. We have a lot of funding. Uh, we have enough to support now. At this point we, have, we can support around six PhD students and two postdocs. So we, uh, um, and and, and the, the scholarship would be covering uh, tuition, um, salary, travel, among many other um, um, uh, fee, right? Yes. So, um, yeah, we have about six, and I, I always, always uh, look for um, talented students yes. with good motivation and curiosity. Yes, mm -hmm. as you have shared uh, that you uh, have a dream to create mm -hmm. a Vietnamese professional tree in mm -hmm. America. Right. What did you do and what will you do to uh, make this dream come true? So I have a, I have a very um, elaborative plan on how to do that, r going from having and recruiting good undergraduate students yeah. to bringing them on board for a PhD program and train their skills toward um, becoming a professor and being through that process once uh, and struggle a lot. I've learned that um, it, it is, there's, there's a way to do it, right? And um, so I, there's, I'm, I'm trying to focus on training and developing the person as opposed and, and equip, equipping them with um, a fixed set of skill, including presentation Yes. Uh, writing, yes. um, critical thinking, and management. So those are the skills that, that my student will need to have by the time that they graduate. And of course, in addition to that, they need to have a very, very, very strong uh, publication and academic record with a lot of papers, a lot of patents, a lot of new ideas, and they have a good reputation in the community. So, um, and, and many of them are actually at that stage already. So um, I'm happy to see that happen, and uh, um, I think um, we're on the right track. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. On the occasion of Lunar New Year 2018, mm -hmm. would you please to share about your plans in the coming time? Yeah, so um, yeah, we have we we predict that this year would be a very very exciting uh, year for us. We have, as I mentioned, we have a few startups that we are we are pushing. We have a number of new projects that we launch, um, and uh, I'm recruiting more students, and the group will be bigger and bigger. So um, there's a lot of there's a lot of, of, of fun ahead. And yeah. on this special uh, occasion, mm -hmm. uh, do you have any wishes to send to viewers at Time in Radio and Television mm -hmm. Station? Yeah, sure. So uh, it's my pleasure to be here today, and uh, in this occasion, I want to wish you um, health, happiness, and a lot of success in the coming year. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks for your interesting sharings. Um, once more time, thank you for joining our program today. Mm -hmm. uh, wish you a new year with uh, happiness, health, and success. Thank you. Thank you.